summed up my whole life in this idea of like, you're a failure, you know? You're a failure, Matt, you failed. I probably faced the hardest time in my life about six years ago. I remember being at my house and I was getting ready to leave my house for the last time for a while, for the foreseeable future. And I'm standing there in my driveway and I'm just thinking to myself, I cannot do this. I felt like I had nothing to offer other people. And I, I felt like that because I didn't have anything left in the tank. You could picture a car without any gas. It's not going anywhere. And I didn't feel like I knew where I could get more gas to put in the car. And uh, it's, it's one thing to know what that's like in your head, you know, as a Christian kid in a Christian household, I, I, I knew that life was hard and that when you faced hard things, you could pray and God would be there for you. But there's a whole other thing when I was actually in it because um, it was real to me. It wasn't just an idea. And so as I was standing there, I just started bawling. And it felt good to be honest with myself that things weren't great and that I was, I felt helpless. I think I actually was pretty helpless too, <laughs> but I felt helpless. Honestly, I felt like a failure, which I'm a very performance-based person. So when I feel something, it's usually me taking the blame or the fault for something that happened just because I think that I can fix things. I think that I can find the prescription. I think that I can perform better and do a better job of holding it all together. And so my reaction to a bad situation is, well, I did something wrong, which Okay, I certainly did in some ways, um, and I can own that, but there was an overread there and that I just kind of summed up my whole life in this idea of like, you're a failure, you know? You're a failure, Matt, you failed. And feeling that uh, sucks, but it's also good to face the fact that like, okay, that's how you respond to things that don't go your way. And you need to work on that because uh, no one's perfect. And I tend to strive to be perfect. And so when things are falling through the cracks, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not perfect. What's wrong with me? Well, of course you're not perfect. You're a human being. The band has been successful for so long on this upwards trajectory with, with few setbacks that you sort of make it your identity. And it's a harsh reality to be standing there in your driveway feeling this feeling of failure when everything else in your life tells you, well, you're really good at what you do. You're successful. Sure, you are out in the world, you know, in a business sense, in a professional sense, but the thing that hurts the most is when it's a personal thing because you gotta go to sleep at night knowing that you're that kind of person who feels like a failure. I out loud um, just talked to God and I just told him what he already knew, which was, I can't do this, and I, and I need help. I don't know what to do beyond just to talk to you, God, and say, I need your help right now. I can't do this, and I don't know what to do next. I don't even know beyond just getting in this van packed with my stuff and driving out of this driveway, I don't really know what's gonna happen next. And there's, there's something important about that because it's this emptying out of any sort of wisdom or um, knowledge or power or pride that you think you can really bank your life on or wage your life on, you realize in that moment, well, here you are in a bad spot and you don't know what to do. And the Bible is pretty clear about this. It's like the weaker you are, the stronger he is. In that moment, that's what I realized. The less of me there is, which was <laughs> at the bottom, there was very little of me left. Um, the more God could just pour into my life and give me some direction and give me love and give me hope and give me peace, give me joy. If your house is in order, you go out into the world and things can be terrible. You can get laid off, you can get into a car accident, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't bring you down to the ultimate low because you go home to a house that is in order. If your house is a wreck and you go out into the world and everything's great, you get promoted, things are really successful, it doesn't strike a chord with you in the same way that if your house is in order, things are good. Successful drummer, touring the world, have more than I need and always, but then 
internally in my house, I feel like I have no foundation and it's just faltering. Well, then none of that really matters. But if you flip it and if things are really solid at home, you go out into the world and you can you feel like you can face anything. It hurts, but it doesn't take you out. We'll